Okay, to get started, I will be using one small to medium sized onion, about two to three and a half pound cabbage, and one medium carrot. Now, I went ahead and took the core out of the cabbage, and I'm just showing you how I'm slicing this, or it's kind of like a shred. And so here is the other half, and I'm gonna quarter it to make it ha easier to handle, and just kind of find like an angle, and run your knife down the side of that angle. Uh, just, you know, watch your fingers. Uh, and so anyways, uh, you want to get a nice thin shred on your cabbage. Now I'm just going to thinly slice the onion and you can slice it into rings or in a minute I'll show you, I just kind of half it and again, just, you know, thinly slice your onion. Now I'm going to go ahead and just clean up the ends of the carrot and I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop it in half and next here I have my box grater and I'm just going to grate the carrot. Okay on to the next ingredient. Here I have three types of vinegar. I have an apple cider vinegar, and then I also have a, a white vinegar, and the one I will be using today is an organic, raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. And in Salvadoran um, recipes for the curtido, they also can use uh, vinagre de piña, which is a pineapple vinegar, but I didn't know where to find that, so this is what I'm using. Okay, so here I have one cup of apple cider vinegar. I have one full cup of warm water, and I'm also going to be using three teaspoons of kosher salt. So first I'm going to add my warm water to the vinegar, and this is equal parts, and now I'm adding my three teaspoons of kosher salt. I'm using warm water because I want the kosher salt to be able to dissolve, so that's, that's the reason why I'm using warm water with the vinegar right now. I also want to mention, um, if you want to adjust the salt that you put into the water vinegar mixture, go right ahead. This is just something that I find to my taste. So I guess I should clarify, you want to salt your vinegar and water mixture uh, to taste. But I think this is a good place to start. Okay, so on to the next step. Here I have all of my shredded cabbage, and now I'm just going to go ahead and add the carrot and the thinly sliced onion. Now you just wanna give everything a good mix just to combine it well. I also wanna mention, if you want a spicier version of this, you can add a, a chile arbol or a jalapeno or serrano pepper. And sometimes you can even add cauliflower. I've seen recipes where they have cauliflower in there. Now I'm going to add four to five cups of boiling hot water. And I'm going to let all of this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm just gonna kinda toss it in there, just kinda mix it up, and then I'll let it sit for at, at least 10 minutes. And this is going to allow your uh, cabbage to soften up. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm just gonna give it another quick toss. But as you can see, it did wilt down a little bit. And no worries because the cabbage still has its crunchy texture. It just, it, it takes off the raw edge. And now I'm going to strain all of the water. So here is my strained um, cabbage mixture, and now I'm going to add the vinegar water mixture. And 
It doesn't seem like a lot of liquid for this amount of cabbage, but remember there is salt added into your vinegar and it's still going to extract a lot of water when you put it in the jar. So just give it a quick toss. And I just remembered I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of dried oregano. After combining it well, I'm going to put it inside a glass jar. This is actually a 64 ounce kimchi jar that I just cleaned and washed. So now I'm just going to put my curtido inside this jar. You can also put it into a glass container, uh, but this is what I'm using. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour in all of that vinegar water mixture. Now I'll be putting this in my fridge for over 24 hours. You wanna make this ahead of time before you make your pupusas. So. I will also, at the end of this video, include a link for my how to make pupusa video that you can click on. It'll take you directly there. So as usual, the recipe for this will be in the description box below. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.